Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mostly Programming. My name is Vivek Garg and this is lesson 17 of learning Python scripting from scratch. In today's video, we are going to see the modification that we can do in list using various methods. In the first 15 lessons of this series, we discussed about the basic concepts of Python scripting and programming language. From the lesson 16 onwards, we are moving towards the Python data structures. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do that right now because it's free. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from Mostly Programming. Do not forget to follow us on Instagram. It is at the rate Mostly Programming. We come up with new quizzes and practice sessions on a daily basis. So follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Let's get started. The scope for today's video is we are going to see the various list methods which are the append method, the insert method, the remove method, pop method, the delete keyword, the delete method, joining the list and copying the list. And we are going to see some example Python script. So let's get started. Let's see the append method first. We must remember that the lists are mutable that is changeable and they are ordered. That means there, there is the concept of indexing in list and they are mutable that means individual assessment assignment or individual changing of the elements is allowed in list. Using the append method we can add an element to the end of the list. For example, let us suppose that we have a list named fruits and we know how to create a list in the square brackets. So I have taken three elements in it, apple, mango and banana. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add kiwi at the last using the append method. So what would be the syntax? The name of the list here, fruits dot append. Then in the parentheses I will pass the value that I want to add at the end of the list. So when I will print this list, then I will see Apple, mango, banana, kiwi is now the new list. That means the list is now updated. We have changed the list. We have added another element to the list and using append the element is added at the last. The next method is the insert method. This method is used to add an element to the list at the desired index. The append method added the elements to the last index but what if we need to add it to a desired index of our choice then we use the insert method suppose we have the same list fruits apple mango banana kiwi then what i simply do is fruits dot insert then in the parenthesis i pass the index comma the value which i want to insert at that index so when i simply print this fruits orange apple mango banana kiwi is printed you can see at the index 0 orange is now inserted and all the other elements are pushed back by one index initially apple was at index 0 but after the insertion of orange at index 0 apple is now at 1 mango at 2 banana at 3 kiwi at 4 so using the insert method we can add any element to the list an item to the list at any desired index of our choice move any element from the list we use the remove method for example, we have the list fruits is equal to orange, apple, mango, banana, kiwi. It has five elements. Orange is at index zero, apple at one, mango at two, banana at three and kiwi at four. Then if I want to remove orange from the list, what I would do is the name of the list fruits dot remove and in the parenthesis, I will pass the value which I want to remove the item which I want to remove. For example, in this case, I want to remove orange. Then I pass the value in single quotes or double quotes as orange. Then that would be removed from my list. When I'm going to print fruits, we will see that apple, mango, banana, kiwi are printed and orange is now removed from the list. What if the element is not present in the list? For example, if I'm removing strawberry from the list, fruits dot remove strawberry then that is not present in the list. In that case, we will get a value error. Let us check this on PyCharm. Okay, so we are on PyCharm now. Uh, let me just create a list named fruits, which is equal to 
in the parent uh, square brackets i'm going to write the name orange comma apple comma banana let me just show you how we use the remove method so what i'll do is fruits dot remove and in the parenthesis i'll pass the value that i want to remove for example if i want to remove apple i'll simply write that in single quotes inside the parenthesis and then i will print the name of the list print the list fruits okay let me just run it now so we can see that orange and banana um, orange and banana are now printed apple is removed what if the value that we are we want to remove is not present in the list let's see what happens if i pass here strawberry spelling hold on a second yeah So let me just run this program now. We'll, we'll see that we get a value error here. Because whenever we are removing an item from the list which is not present in the list, we will get a value error. That means as it is showing here as list.removex, x is not present in the list. That's how the remove method works. Let's go back to the presentation now and continue with the lesson. So we have seen how the remove method works. The next is the pop method. The pop method is used to remove a specific index or the last index if nothing is specified. For example, we have a list named fruits, apple, mango, banana. Then if I am simply uh, using the pop method, fruits dot pop, then the last element of the list that is the banana would be removed from the list. Now let's print it. We'll see that apple and mango are printed and banana is now removed. And if I am passing the num index number inside the pop method, then that particular index, the item on that particular index number would be removed. Let's see if I'm passing pop zero, that means apple, then apple would be removed from the list and mango banana are printed now. That's how we can use pop method to remove any item from the list of any particular index delete method the del keyword is used to delete item from a specific index apple mango banana the same list then del fruits and in the square brackets i'm writing the index number two that means banana would be now deleted between the pop and del keyword there is just the difference of syntax how to use it pop is a method and del is a keyword we can also delete the entire list using the del method del fruits and when i'm printing this the list is now deleted there does not exist any list named fruits so i hope the del method is also clear the clear method this is an important method to use with the list the clear method empties the list it does not delete the list the clear method empties the list understand the difference here when I'm going to use this clear method, we will see that we, suppose we have the same list fruits, apple, mango, banana, then fruits dot clear. And when I'm printing this print fruits, now only the square brackets are printed. That means the list is empty, but the list exists. The del keyword deletes the list. That means it nullifies its existence, but using the clear method, we clears the list, but does not delete it. That means the list named fruit still exists. I hope the clear method is now clear. Copying a list. We cannot directly copy a list. Let me show you why we can't copy a list. Let me take a list. Uh, LST is equal to say 1, 2, 3. Then what I'm doing is LST1 is equal to LST. So simply I copied the contents of that. We are supposing we copied the contents of that. So let me now print lst print list one let me see if we get the same list yes so the contents of lst and lst1 are same but this does not mean that the content we have copied the list let me show you what do i mean by that statement 
let me append something to the list lst dot append um, for print lst and let me remove these two print statements from here so initially the list was one two three i append four that is added an element to the end of the list that is four and printed the initial list lst now we have stored the initial list in the lst1 let us print that what's happening here we can see that one two three four the new list is printed that means the content original content of the list was not copied in fact the list one is a reference to the initial list lst getting my point whatever changes that we are going to make to the original list the initial list lst the same changes would be made to the lst1 list so how can we copy the content let me uh, show you how we can copy that let's go to so simply we have to create a list and use the copy method let me show you suppose i have lst and it has elements like 12 13 14 and then what i'm doing is lst1 is equal to lst dot copy using the dot copy method we actually copy the list to another list let me print this lst1 and then uh, let me make some changes to the original list say I'm adding 3 to that then let me print the LST and print the LST1 let me just run it now so you can see that originally LST was 12 13 14 then I copied the content of the LST to LST1 and I printed that that is 12 13 14 then I added an element 3 to the LST then print that then the updated version of the list is printed and now I'm again printing the list one which is the uh, originally contain the content of the copied uh, list from the LST copied content from the LST then when I'm printing that list the original list is printed that means we are we have successfully copied the content of the original list to another list so we can use that by the cop using the copy method we cannot simply do this to copy a list we do have to use the dot copy method so i hope this is clear to you now how we can copy the list we cannot copy directly instead we have to use the copy method list one is equal to one two three four five and list two is equal to list one dot copy then only we can copy the contents of a list to another list the next is joining to list suppose i have list 1 1 2 3 4 list 2 a b then simply list 1 plus list 2 would produce a copy uh, would produce the joint list 1 2 3 4 comma a comma b the joining is simply the concatenation in strings that is the joining in list so i hope the contents are now clear if you have any queries related to the lesson number 17 of learning python scripting from scratch which is modifying list and python using various list methods if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below also you can dm us on our social media accounts the link to those are given here as well as in the description box so if you like the video give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and subscribe to my channel because your subscriptions give me motivation to make more such videos. Thank you very much for watching.